Starting in goal tonight for the Castlegar Rebels, it'll be number one, Kurt Doyle. Kurt comes into action tonight with a record of six wins and five losses. He's got a goals against average of 3.66 and a save percentage of .869. And there is Kurt getting set between the pipes for the hometown Rebels. And the Bruins lead one to nothing. Time in the goal, 7.53. And the Rebels have tied it just like that. Great response by the Rebels. Everett Hicks has tied it. So a couple of quick goals. Hicks, that's going to be his 12th of the season. Berg wins the draw, gets it back to Batanti at the right point. Slides it for the hash marks along the wall from Moeller. He cycles it down low. Berg steps away from the check. Centering pass. He was looking for Boston back door, but Grant Forks cut that pass off nicely. Now Batanti with a couple of nice moves. Woo! Scores. Vince Batanti picks the puck up just inside the blue line, makes a couple of nice moves, and then beats... Tyler Laura high to the glove side, and the Rebels have tied it. Here's McKean, right side, there's a quick shot. And Laura made the save and knocked it out of danger. Centering pass for a good one, shot scores! <laughs> Dallas Goodwin. Great play in his own zone. And then right back in the Grand Forks zone. Found some space. Called for the puck. Got a quick shot away. He beats Tyler Laura and it's 3-3. Behind the net. Now McKean. Stretch pass for Campbell. He's in behind the defense. Can he catch it? Oh! Just got a stick on it at the last second and tipped it wide of the net. Great effort there by Sean Campbell. McKean quickly on it in behind the net. Centering pass. Loose it. Freddy scores. And here we go. The Rebels have tied it on a very similar play to the goal that Grand Forks has just scored. And we'll await some discussion here, I'm sure, but the ref was quickly on it, indicating a goal. And I think this one's going to stand. And it's going to be Sean Soupy Campbell. The Rebels, Evan Laura, bodied by Reeds, picked up by Smaha Muir. And Reeds and Tambellini are going to go in front of the Castlegar bench. Tambellini for the Bruins and Jesse Reeds for the Rebels. Moeller through center ice, bothered by a couple of Bruins. Looking in front for Berg, who called for a centering pass, but he couldn't get a stick on it. Platt had it knocked off his stick. Centering pass. Boston couldn't catch up to it as Johnson steps in front of that. Now he has it on the far side, tries to chip it past Batanti, but a good play there by Vince. Tries to slide it to Berg, up front, scores! I think that's going to go to Kyle Berg. A centering pass gets past Anthony Galliard on the short side, and for Kyle Berg, that's his first as a Rebel. And it gives the hometown club the lead for the first time tonight. Lemoyne able to clear the zone, but Batanti right there again. 
There's Ladian. Shot from well at deflection in front, and they score. Daniil Ladigan had the original shot. It hit something in front, and we'll see if he's going to get credit for it. But it puts the Rebels up 6-4 with exactly four minutes left to play here in the second period, and we'll await the results of this. Ladigan with a good shot, but it did hit something in front. And it is Daniil Ladigan. So there you go, South Africa from halfway around the world. His ninth of the season. And the assist to number five, Vince Batanti, who's having a heck of a night with a goal and two assists. And the Rebels right back the other way. Here's a chance for Berg. Nifty move through the stick, through the legs. Oh, wow. The Rebels score again, it's 7-4. And Kyle Berg with a couple of unbelievable moves in a phone booth. Gets around the defense, slides a backhand pass across the crease and Ed Lindsay isn't gonna have any easier goal than that. He knocks it in and it's 7-4. Flipped high to center ice. Wentworth will settle it there. Gets it ahead to Andrew Petten. Tries to get around Smaha Muir in behind the Grand Forks. Net centering pass. Berg scores. Great play by Andrew Petten to get that puck in deep. He slides it out front, and Kyle Berg has his second of the night, his tenth of the season. And it's 8-4 Rebels. Kindle on the wall by Haskarl, and that is going to do it. Time will expire on the Bruins. The Rebels win it 8-4. A huge divisional victory on home ice over the Grand Forks Board of Bruins. And they're out to congratulate goaltender Kurt Doyle who was solid in goal tonight for the Rebels.